All right, today we're gonna to look at configuring iOS and Android devices to utilize Fiddler Everywhere for mobile app debugging of network requests and responses. So I'm gonna start on my Mac and I'm gonna grab the local IP address, which in my case is 192.168.0.111. But I'm gonna ping my iOS device, which is the same, .118. Great, I can ping it. They uh, can communicate with each other, we're all good. Now in my settings of Fiddler Everywhere, I'm gonna head to the connections tab. I'm gonna look at the port number, which is 8866. Make sure to remember that. And make sure that allow remote computers to connect is checked. This is key to allowing Fiddler Everywhere to act as a system proxy for your iOS and Android device. Now I'm gonna head to my device. Uh, in this case, you can see my local IP address is right here. So it's just in my settings on my Wi-Fi, uh, 0.118. I wanna configure the proxy. I'm gonna choose a manual proxy. I'm gonna enter the IP address of my Mac, which is 192.168.0.118. And the port number, or sorry, 111. The port number is 8866. Now this is, again, is gonna allow my Mac to act as a proxy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to head to the special URL, ipv4.fiddler colon 8866. This is gonna allow us to download the all important Fiddler root certificate or profile on our iOS device. This allows Fiddler to act as a man in the middle, if you will, to intercept HTTPS traffic. So let's allow that, attach it to my, or install it on my iPhone. Now the profile is downloaded and I'm gonna head back to my settings and you'll see that profile downloaded option. You tap on that, enter your passcode and make sure that we go ahead and trust this profile even though it says do not trust. You can trust me, you should trust it. Now with my profile verified. I wanna head back to my settings and go into certificate trust settings, which is available in the about section. And I wanna go ahead and trust that profile I just installed. Now we're all set, I can open an app and see HTTP and HTTPS traffic just fine. Now over on Android, the process is pretty similar with some alterations we need to make. First, we need of course our device IP address. So head to our settings, head to my Wi-Fi settings, and tap in there and we can see our IP address is uh, 0 0.214. So we wanna make a note of that and go back to the Mac and ping it just to make sure the two can communicate with each other. Ping works fine, great. Let's head back to our network settings and long tap on the, the Wi-Fi network and alter it. And I wanna go into advanced options to set up that system proxy. So the proxy again is gonna be a manually configured proxy and I'm gonna enter the IP address of my local machine, which is 192.168.0.111. And the proxy port again is 8866. So same as on iOS, right? Now with that set up, again, I need to install that Fiddler root certificate. So I'm gonna head over to ipv4.fiddler colon 8866. And I'm gonna zoom in here and download the Fiddler root certificate and download and install it. Now everything's great, right? So I've installed the certificate and once I name it, but there's a little bit of a trick with Android. Due to some security considerations, you can't just go ahead and inspect any old traffic on any app like you can in iOS. You can only inspect traffic on apps that you control. Here is an app that I control and I need to do two things. I need to create a network security config XML document, which is gonna allow me to accept any user created certificates. And to associate that file with my app, I need to go to my Android manifest XML file and add the Android colon network security config parameter. And with that all set up, I can go back to my app and load it up and I can see any HTTP and HTTPS traffic on Android. So there you go. That's a very quick four minute run through of getting Fiddler Everywhere set up to debug and inspect traffic on iOS and Android devices.